Yep. Come on. There we go. Ahoy, everyone. Welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... Please to Mighty Lieutenant Rekia at your service. Do my mic a bit closer. Okay. <laughs> And welcome to the last Showcase Sunday for a while, and last week I had the count wrong, I think, because I, I marked it as number 123, but checking back, it was supposed to be number 122, so today is number 123. <laughs> okay, so that's why I feel a bit confused last time. I feel like, wait, weren't we already on that number? Yeah. <clears throat> Anyway, for anyone new, uh, <clears throat> Showcase Sunday is where we take a few games to try them out for about half an hour each. Though we can jump to the next one early if it's just going to be clear that a game is not going to be any fun for... Uh, or it's just going to be an absolute no for potential streaming in the future. Or you also refuse to work. That as well, yeah. Though I do typically tend... I, tend, I test the games to see if they work with OBS at least, so... That's well, that is at least one step that uh, is certain. Though this game, which well, I didn't really have much of an intro bit. Uh, this game is 13, and well, it's it's a bit of a middle case. It doesn't want to work with borderless gaming, so I'm having to use the game capture scene instead of the typical screen cap one or display cap one. And yeah, this game. Uh, Back in the day, I I heard uh, I heard it was plenty uh, known, and well, in more recent days, a new version got released of it, and well, uh, let's just say it got the complete opposite treatment because, well, it was shit. It just didn't function. Wait, uh. so they, they released the same game, but they they just re-released it. Did not do. Any other thing you should do before re-releasing a game? Yeah, they quote remastered it, but it was more like a downgrade on everything. But yeah, let's get started. Let's been see. Such a long time. Yeah, what I know about this game, alive. other than we it's well, he the operation. besides its comic book uh, looks is that, well, it's a spy thriller of some sort. So, let's get started and start the timer. FBI paper pushers are a match for Sheridan's assassins, Amos? I don't. Keep your opinions to yourself, General Carrington. As you know, we can't proceed with the investigation without proof. No one can stop me from conducting my own investigation, you hear me, Amos? Number 13 will soon no longer be a problem. Okay, can definitely say that I'm intrigued so far. Frank, it's Janet. I've just finished my rounds. Do you still need me in this area? 
Okay, I'll head back to HQ. Feels like today's gonna be a quiet one, huh? Did you see the water this morning? Whoa, what's that? Hold on. I'll call you right back. Sir, can you hear me? Easy. Looks like a bullet wound. Can you move your legs? I can't remember a thing. Do you think you can make it to the truck? I'm feeling really mixed at the moment. Yeah, the graphics are showing their age, but the style the style of it all lessens it somewhat. Yeah, the graphics are not not what bother them. We're more of huh? the presentation. I think rather confused. It, it's supposed to be. True. I do feel like there's a balance between making you know how confused you should make the audience. Junction, hurry! I'll pick you up on the other side. Okay, not that. Oh, yes, that way. But that's the whole thing with Spy Trailer. We need, we, we need to figure out what the fuck's going on. I'll take you to the first aid station. Try to walk. I, I think it might. Most the issue is I uh, might be the voice acting a little bit. Damn it. Okay, I'm not noticing too much wrong with that at the moment. Moreover, I feel like it's really mixed. Helen, it's Janet. I just picked up an injured man on Brighton Beach. He's got no ID and can't remember a thing. I need to bring him in for a CAT scan as soon as possible. An hour? Perfect, we're on our way. How are you feeling? Still no memory? I found this key in your pocket. Ever heard of Winslow Bank? Here. Who's that? over there. You won't escape this time. Okay, sir. So. Okay, aim at your enemy's heads to kill them with one shot. Okay. Uh, okay, we got a pistol now. You got a revolver. You already... Yep. Hello, Rom. Hey, Rom. Hey. I know this game. Yep. Also... Just for the record, um, no, you can't shoot through, oh wait, no, right, you can shoot through windows. I forgot. I haven't played it in years. Yeah, yeah, this is the original version, not the, uh, recent remaster, quote-unquote. Remake. Oh. It was actually a remake. Okay, either way, it sucked absolute ass from all I've heard and seen. What the man who voices the protagonist, the same voice as one of the heads from one of the leads from X Files? Okay. Uh, let's see. Controller. Controls. No. Shoots. Yeah, his power. is so little that I probably noticed it was him. <laughs> Just chuck it. Okay. Uh. Wrong area. Okay. Wait, that's okay. sand sharks? No, I think that's more meant for just general sharks in the area. Okay, oh, how are you doing, Ron? 
I'm doing fine. Woke up. Yesterday I got told that the bacteria that was causing my ultra is dead. So all I gotta do is we can have to fully close up the ultra. And that's yeah, that. Okay. I like the style, including the when you shoot an enemy, they have like a paddle, or if you fall over, they turn into a paddle, coming to a them falling. Mm -hmm. Really, you're coming at me with throwing knives? It would be the it's the bold guy again. Oh, we... Okay, for, I, had, I had a feeling we'd die instantly if we dropped into the water. And, okay, nice that we have an actual timer telling us how long we can stay on the water. Okay. That I cannot lie, but that's kind of new. Yeah, the no other game really does. Usually has a few bubbles or a brief meter or something, but a timer yeah. feel like it's more helpful. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. I love how it says, you using the killer's pickup truck after we shot at my like, at least a dozen people. There you go. Okay. I sort of like that we actually need to pull out keys to open stuff. Recollection, Brighton Beach. Hmm. If there is some way to unfuck the mo or more modern version of this game, I might be up for streaming that instead, but I get the feeling it might be more work than getting this one to function properly. Wait. Oh yeah, welcome to New York. Which version of the game is this? The first one, the original. Oh, uh, that's just that I remember I have it, but trying to get it to work in any capacity got really fucking annoying. Okay, for me it wasn't too hard, it was mostly putting in a patch from PC Gaming Wiki that also added window mode. In my case, I wanted to, to like have like full screen mode, mm -hmm. and that and didn't work. Access the strong room, don't kill the bank staff. Okay. We're gonna wind up at least pulling one security guard, aren't we? Probably. Let's... Mr. Roland? It's been such a long time. I assume you want to access your safe? May I have your key? <clears throat> right this way, please. Okay. Also, there's probably... Also, I vaguely have a joke here, but... Uh, As you can see, we've upgraded our security a, there's system. There's a joke I can make about Jason Bourne, but I got nothing. You can be too careful in today's <laughs> world, right? Also, yeah, we're unarmed. We left our pistol. Apparently, we traded in the revolver at one point along the way. Hello, James. Mr. Roland would like to access his safe. Hello, Mr. Roland. It's still at the far end of the room. Yeah. Okay. I, I thought for I thought at first it, the key said bomb, but it might be 808. Call me when you're ready to come out. Well, yeah, is what it's supposed to be. Look it's, for... it's a very fancy made bank. Let me get that. The time. Grab the briefcase and and run. Um. It, well, time for a flashback first. Set the bomb. Uh, I'm guessing we put that there as a security measure so no one else could steal it, but we kind of forgot how to disarm that beforehand. One accidental terrorist attack later. Mr. Roland, what's going on? 
Uh, let's see, we don't have any weapons. Nope. But we can slip out through here. Uh, okay, put one more to your civic sewer counter, I guess. Ing. I've fallen into my oh, own yeah. trap. Uh, yeah, that's Molar, but he sounds more tired than usual. <laughs> He, he's just get, he's just getting sick of the joke as well. Well, well. I don't get the security system. How do you lower the gates? Ooh, ooh, now, come ooh. on. <laughs> Half a second too late. <laughs> Give me that. Don't yep. Please stay calm. <laughs> We're just charging across with a chair over our heads. <laughs> and David the company with a chair. Uh oh. We don't have the key. Bunch of pizzazz. Nope. Oh, he's coming this way. I grab the chair. <laughs> Good, sir. Have a seat. You miss. <laughs> you miss with a fucking chair. A point blank. Why? Okay. Oh. Okay, so. I'm guessing it only counts as a one-hit KO if you still get them on the head. Give me that. Okay. Well, it, yeah, that kind of makes sense. If you okay, hit the head, they're more likely to get knocked out. Yeah. Where the hell is he? Crowd. Anything on your side? No. Okay, I like that tap, tap, tap. Probably better bet at the moment. But never mind. Plan B, just whack everybody with the chair. <laughs> or with ashtrays, apparently. Big ashtrays at that. Okay, see that? Can't open that door, you might, apparently. You might want to yep. knock out the other security guard. Mm. <laughs> you missed. Okay. I don't Did like you? that those things break whether you hit something or not. Or I hit the wall there, maybe. Or you hit the floor. No. Yeah, that Did I you find try out for him. Have you tried checking the security guard's pocket? Before we were to highlight... Well, we can pick people up and dump them around. And we can even still attack whilst carrying someone. Uh, the game would have highlighted it, I think, if they had a key or something. Because mm. it did it before. Oh, oh. oh wait, no. There, yeah, there's a bed right there. We all missed it. <laughs> oh, oh, this alarm is driving me crazy. If this robber would just... Oh my Crouch. god! Action. Sorry, got any just security pass. Let's see. We'll stop trying with the hostages led toward him. You uh, can use weapons with one hand. We'll take that. Let's see. To release hostages, press action. You. Oh. Oh. oh, and just for the record, no <laughs> checkpoint. Skills, what? Okay. And sniper, wait a minute. Yep. There are checkpoints. Oh, the game is... Oh, oh my it might have been actually the console version that didn't have checkpoints, I forgot. Could be. Okay, try... Okay, try not holding a gun at the same time. You would expect the console to have checkpoints. Some games didn't really yeah. have checkpoints. <laughs> we were threatening her with a magnetic card. 
uh, for what this game I think was released, shit points were very common, but were for some that didn't use them. Did I use? Okay, throw the hostage. There we are. Apparently, you just automatically knock her out. You might want to draw some. Oh, someone else going around here. All right, I guess those guys you can shoot. I mean, they are shooting at you and you have a gun. Yeah. Okay. Oh. okay. He just came running straight out of the 90s with the trench coat. Oh. Yeah, I don't think they're all in the 90s. <laughs> okay. Give me that. Reason is through to the monitors. Yeah, we are so getting blamed for all of this. Oh, now yep. we have a... Okay. Yeah, pistol. Yeah, nope. Not that I way. I don't think they can open the door. Okay, we got the pistol off one of those guys. Okay, uh, I'm actually liking this. I'm so far. I'm getting a bit of a a more mm, not iffy, but a less refined version of like a no one lives forever feel from this. Did this game come out after no one lives forever? I just realized that. Mm. I have no idea. I'm kind of bit mixed on this one. I don't look for why. Copy that, car five. Yep. FBI, drop your weapon! Steve Rowland, you are under arrest for the murder of William Sheridan. Oh yeah, that's the president hey. who got shot into the intro. Wait, how did nine hours pass? Now 8 p.m. Yeah, yeah, would have been a bit weird if we somehow spend nine hours in that. Don't kill FBI agents. Rejoin on the in rooftops. In your deposition, you even added that you don't feel like a killer. How touching! But the law doesn't operate on feelings, now does it? It operates on evidence, which I have in spades. Emory, the snapshots, please. Yep, that's the president getting literally JFK. Like this is literally straight out of a JFK Where did the conspiracy. Come from, in your opinion, that building there, see, right in the line of sight. And who have we here? Well. That's a hell of a thing to forget. I shot the are president. Are you finally going to confess to the assassination of? Isn't it a bit uh, convenient that someone so that made photos of us in the complete opposite direction? Well, his widow's in for a surprise. But before we announce your resurrection, Captain Rule, what the hell's going on here? Trying to shit your pants? out of those cups. Uh, Close enough. See you again, Steve. Steve, okay. Yep, Steve Rowland. <laughs> really? <laughs> Ubisoft. That Let's take this. That's actually, actually, this this whole thing is made of, I think, if I remember correctly, a French comic book, so 
That one isn't on Ubisoft. That one is just the book. Yeah. It looks like an Easter egg. It says Ubisoft there as well on that uh, monitor. Yeah, I just, yeah, I just saw it. Mm -hmm. If we get trinocular goggles, I'm calling his first person splinter cell. Ah, come on, like, we really have just a real small window of opportunity with that, huh? Okay, there's still one guy outside. Or there should be. Okay, he, he must have pissed off somewhere. Hmm. Can't open that. No, don't shoot! Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> this, this isn't exactly a firearm. Okay, yeah, there's a serious bit of these guys again. Okay, yeah. You know, there's gotta, you know this cover-up is gonna reveal a bunch of shit if they're shooting up the FBI building in New York. Yeah. All just to kill David the company. Ow. You ever realize the fact that, technically speaking, the Black Mesa incident would have been one hell of a, a fuck-up cover-up? Yeah. Okay, we can't kill anyone in the FBI, but we can certainly let them get killed by the other... Really? You snuck in here after me? You got a gun. You... you picked up a gun from one of the FBI guys. Okay. I'm just surprised he snuck in here after me. Okay, can we finally... You don't try. There we go. Had about as much success with that as freaking Austin Powers. There we go. Give Did me we that trench coat. Dan Reeves. I mean, it's Maybe. Who's the key? Dan Reeves. But were you really picking your friend's pocket oh, after he got shot? <laughs> Okay, I'm definitely, I can definitely see why this game got some attention back in the day. And yeah, I'm, oop. And that's our 25 minutes with that. I'm, I'm leaning towards a yes with this so far. Oh, if, yeah, maybe if, yes. You know, if it, we can keep it from, if we can keep it behaving itself. Just, there's definitely some Manchurian bullshit going on here. What? Like, our dude doesn't remember a thing and was used to assassinate someone such, sleeper agents oh. and all that. Oh yeah, that troop I recognize. I didn't know that was the, its name for that troop. Yeah, I'm probably getting it mostly wrong with Manchurian candidates. Uh, I think there's more to it than that, but yeah, it's basically sleeper age and stuff. If I remember okay. correctly, the Manchurian candidate had like, this guy is the bravest soldier I've ever met, and everyone, except in reality, he wasn't, and he was just set up to like, kill someone so that a different person would get on the political ladder. Okay, like, say, a certain president's brother who got assassinated in the intro? I don't oh. think it's that far. Also, I, I gotta look up when the Manchurian Candidate came out, actually. Because if it came okay. out before... Yeah. Mm. I'll, I'll just take a quick look at this to see when 13 released as well. And yeah, moving on to the second 19. game. Okay, 52. No, that's a long time ago. Uh, no, 1962. Start... Yep, yeah. okay. Uh, let's see. 13... <laughs> 2003. It's deep seriously around. And no one lives forever. There. Uh, when did that release? No, not two. No one lives forever. One. 
There. The term man's mind spirits grow with the space in which they are allowed to operate. Okay. And let's see. No one lives forever. Hello, and welcome to this special edition of Argon Today. In this program, we look at the Kach War and ask the question, why? Here in this vid, we witness the first of the Kach's ruthless assaults on our civilization. Really? Really, that's what you the went with? President N. And whilst there has been no major attack on Argon settlements since the battle at Amrakan Lyra, the Kach continued to destroy ships and installations. <laughs> To murder innocent civilians, but as Argon forces seem unable to Billy, find a that's what you're going war, with, or even to communicate with this merciless enemy, we are left with few answers and fewer options for retaliation. The only person to come close encounter with the clock is Kyle Brennan, who was lost to them while searching for the AP gunner and a way back to Earth. Hero of the Zen and War, Kyle remains in intensive fear, unresponsive as much as. was one of those who helped defend Argon in the crucial battle of Omicron Lyra. Since then, there has been a relative calm, but with Argon forces at an all-time low, it can only be a matter of time before the Hawk... Oh yeah, the rest of the Command and Conquer games. What do the Hawk want? Someone who thinks they yeah. can answer is Yeah. Yeah. Haven't played them yet. We must rebuild. We must make Argon strong once more. My fellow senators and I are drawing up emergency plans. We call upon our citizens to be ready for the I think someone didn't think through that arm movement there for a bit. We must be vigilant. We must heed the call to fight for justice and freedom. We must find and we must destroy the cop wherever they may be found. This is the day for justice. This is the day for freedom. This is our day. Okay, but did you seriously have to use? Did you seriously have to call them cocks? Just. I, I think it's K O C H, but it definitely sounds like a completely different word. Yeah. Yeah. And also, did I almost get annoyed that the music was was overwhelming Louder. the dialogue? Yeah. Let me see. It's even it's even lowered already. Uh, let me. Uh, oh wait, I can't adjust it in here. I, I'm guessing it needs to be done in that launcher. And yeah, that looked it up. Uh, no one lives forever released in 2000, so three year three years before 13. Hmm. And yeah, second game for today is X3 Reunion. Which had a sequel somewhat recently, I believe, in the last four-ish years, X4 or something. Um, yeah, basically, this. <clears throat> I don't know if it's the. Uh, it, I don't know if this series is like the originator of the term, but you have you know those games where it's like X4, like explore, exploit, expand, exterminate, and such. That's a term that's used oh, for stuff like. Uh, yeah, civilization games and such. It's not considered a genre, maybe more like a method or such. But yeah, this is basically a game like that. <clears throat> where, well, we get thrown into, into an open world. And yeah, we get to screw around as much as we like. But there is an overlapping story. Uh, the problem that I found with this game, because I did try it before, but even before it came up on the list for this, is that... Uh, this is why it can I be... can't. <laughs> it's very complex in its controls and such. So, yeah. Let's see. New game. Let's see. Normal. Julian Brennan. The third jump right into the action. Discover the exciting events that are brewing in the X universe. Trade your uh, way to wealth. Fight off your ruthless foes. And build a lasting legacy. And yeah, there are multiple kinds of starts that we can go for. Each with their own difficulties as well. And with storyline multiple enabled or disabled but let's go for a normal start let me start a timer even though i think we will jump from this one a lot sooner than 25 minutes time to look for the i and i just to run 13 because i am going to go nuts. Yeah, pc gaming wiki should yeah, be an easy help with that yeah Julian, 
Thanks for coming. I've got a squadron fresh out of flight school due on their first combat patrol. I'd like you to show them a few tricks. I know it's been quiet, but is that the most important thing you've got? The fleet's down to 30%, uh, and we don't have many old pilots left to teach the new ones. Can you think of a more important task? You'll get a chance to put your life on the line soon enough. I just hope your father will come soon to give us some insight into the car. Have you been to see him? Hasn't okay, the car. You want to give me those patrol details? Julian. Maybe next time I'm in the system. I'll hold you to that. Bandana out. Yeah, okay, I trying to show its mistakes already. The patrol will start near the north gate and home of light. From there, take the west gate to red light. Cross red light and use the south gate for cloud base southwest. Check for car activity in these sectors and eliminate any car ships oh. you come across. K H A A K. Experience, but the rest are rookies. Get the car. Okay, yeah, that so makes sharp. a bit more sense. Try and keep those pilots alive. We're going to need them. I will agree. It's definitely a name you can definitely easily mispronounce. Yeah. Incoming message. Sixty mag. Okay. Uh, First issue we have right now is that we don't get a tutorial on how to freaking move our ship and such. Also, up and down are reversed, which I yeah yeah I know is a lot more is a lot very common with space simulator games and such, but it's still rather annoying. And yeah, let's see controls. And yeah, you the game doesn't even pause for any of this. So let me see. Uh, can we... Okay, we... Is there somewhere to invert this stuff? It, no. Also, I bought uh, Sniper Elite 3 with all of the DLC. Yeah, this is fantastic. Okay. Cool thing. Yep, that's fire. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Basically, it's like I'm trying to play freaking Elite Dangerous without a manual or a good op option menu to, well, try and get this thing moving. So, yeah. I've heard... I've heard well about this game. The problem is... It doesn't... It, it's, it's not something you can easily get into from the looks of it and everything. And I, I guess also didn't age well. Okay, at least no that doesn't even okay we can't even go into the options and keep things saved uh, let's see pitch up yeah we okay we can actually re remove these add control s apply add control w apply okay x and z for accelerate save changes uh, okay, it says, but oh, wait, do I need to be? Okay, I need to be outside of that. Okay, but another thing with uh, with this game that I found annoying once I did manage to get moving originally whilst I was trying this game is that, well, travel time is and that can be an absolute bitch. This is going pretty decent so far, but I presume trying to move around lots of places is going to be an absolute hell. FOV. Okay, desired FOV for... It's 366 mm. I'm even going towards the right... That's the south gate. We need to go to the north gate. The key doesn't even start us pointed towards the right place. Oh dear. Uh, the game looks impressive until. Uh, when was this game released? Let me do a quick look for that. Okay, now pray that it worked. It's it X3 worked. Foundations. Yep. Okay. Uh, 2011, apparently. Let me just. Oh. Double check that, or is this an expansion of sorts? But yeah, we, we... all right, and it looks kind of standard for this time, except it. But mm. actually, I can... no, I'm sure. Like part of it looks good from uh, that year, but other things look 
Yeah, yeah, like the cinema intro cinematic we saw there with the video call. Well, not video call, but the news on. Mm. That one looked way older. Yeah, it might just be that it was put on Steam in 2011. The app is being a nuisance with not wanting to open. Uh, yeah, released 2011. First, wait. Oh, did I get? Wait, no. This. No, this is DLC. Uh, Extreme Terran Conflict? What? Pretty sure it said that this game is, was called Foundations, or did I... Or did I just get themselves confused? Or the Union. No, yeah. Uh, Alright, X4 is Foundations, I believe. Um, let's see. X3 Reunion, that's the one. This one released in, let's see, 2005. Okay, that makes more sense, yeah. Okay, yeah, that, that makes make mo a bit more sense, yeah. But, yeah, just from the fact that it's going to take us several minutes to get through the first freaking warp gate... Yeah, this is, this is a no. Yeah, I lost a good bull actually went to dust my desk. So yeah, let's at least. Yeah, uh, not I, even sure. If I just should... realized. I think that General in Thirteen is voiced by Adam West. Okay, <laughs> that would be pretty hilarious. Actually, we could look up IMDb on that. Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. IMDb Thirteen. What is see, so th th Whose idea was to make this so slow? Yeah, th these games are these games are meant for a specific fan base, just like with uh, real time tactics. That there's oh, it's a bit niche. So it is with well games where you can basically this is Eve Online without the online part. Okay, um, he doesn't tell me much, but all right. Basically, it's you can just build if you want. You can just build up a massive corporation and slowly but surely just buy out the entire galaxy in the game. Oh. And, yeah, Adam West, General Carrington. <laughs> it is bloody Adam West. Uh... But, yeah, but I'm already... <laughs> Uh, how long did these even take so far? Ten minutes and we haven't gotten to the first of four objectives. So... And most of that was because you flew the wrong way. No, no, not even that. That only took a few minutes, so... It would already would have been a much further trip to get to this thing. So, yeah. Hard no on this one. Simply not, not because it's a bad game or anything, but besides, because... I don't want to spend like two hours just traveling from A to B. Yeah. So moving on to our third game. Yeah, it's a running window, Xenonauts. Okay, you're supposed to be going. Come on. There we go. Okay, borderless gaming just took a moment to react. And yeah, Xenonauts. Uh, for people who are no, talking about somewhat niche games, this one is far less, because this is basically uh, XCOM, but done somewhat differently. Actually, it's more akin to classic XCOM. Yep. Okay, new game. Let's go with normal difficulty, explanatory dialogues, Iron Man modes. Let's not, because that's much for veterans. Uh, you've played strategy games before, but not an XCOM veteran. The game is a little more forgiving, and the aliens are somewhat less dangerous. Uh, newcomers with this tragedy genre, alien invasion escalates more slowly, and the aliens are weaker than normal. In similar games before, the game will be difficult. The aliens are dangerous, and the invasion escalates quickly and insane. Good luck, you're either insane or a genius. The game starts at a punish uh, punishing and works up from there. <laughs> okay. He takes no all the lunatic. <laughs> Now, start the timer. Explanatory tooltip, Geoscape. The Geoscape shows all the territory you're defending from invasion. Alien UFOs will periodically spawn on the map, damaging your relations uh, with funding nations until they are shut down or complete their mission and disappear. 
You will shortly be asked to place your first base. The blue circle around it represents the range of the, ra ra yeah, the base ra radar, which automatically detects UFOs that pass inside it. Try to cover as much territory as possible with your first base. Once you have done this, you will want to speed up time until an event occurs. The arrow buttons along the top. Okay, this, this is not how I remember this starting. Hold on a sec. Uh, let's put that about there. Uh, let's quit. Hmm. I'm pretty sure there was supposed to be a tutorial up front. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's still just plant one around there. It's just weird that it... Hmm. Nope, oh, UFO 1 detec detected. Small. No escort. Heading north. Okay, intercepts. Condor 1. Okay. Another one. Condor 2 can follow that. I'm pretty sure there is supposed to be a tutorial starting up on this. And uh, it, uh, it's machine. Auto resolve. Return to base. Okay. Oh. Okay. One of them went down, but the other one managed to land. So, okay, we can zoom in. Uh, let's see, Condor 2. You will go on patrol quickly. And can we select the UFO? Um, yeah, since it launched, landed, we can now send that one out towards it. Okay. And they are low on fuel, so they're heading back. Hmm. Okay. We don't have sight on them anymore, so we don't know if they fucked off or not. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be a tutorial starting before all this. Or maybe it's a one-time thing. That's... Oop. And... <laughs> okay. Our lander got shot down. And... Yeah, a bunch of people got hurt from that. <laughs> Okay, seriously, where is the tutorial? I know this game has one. It's game options. Is it turned on or off or something? I, I know maybe this game have... has a tutorial. Maybe it's one of those one-time tutorials you can never do again. Which would be absolutely stupid, because it has quite, it plays a, quite a bit on the story as well. Or was oh, yeah, I thinking of something else? Okay. That's the worst thing you can do if you don't have only a one-time tutorial. The tu one tutorial is related to the story yep. and it should not be one time. Like, okay, and apparently the mouse is running low. Hmm? No question. Is the what? tutorial enabled by options? And that's what I'm looking for here. Okay. Uh, look that. But yeah. These are controls. Put story into a one time tutorial. Let's see, mate. Okay. Hmm. Okay, that's that's putting me quite against this at the moment. Because, well, hmm. Seriously, is there nothing to. Let's see, no vehicles, souls. Okay, I, I like that I like it when games let you jump into a game a lot faster for if you uh, want to skip that, but it should be an option to skip, not be an automatic yeah. thing. Yeah, like I know that many people do don't like tutorials, but tutorials are usually good to have. And yeah, you're gonna also, link even if just for a refresh. Story, what did I say? Even if just to refresh you on the mechanics and such. Yeah. Let me just do a quick search. I guess you can see yeah. one time tutorials that you can never do again is probably worse than an, an annoying tutorial. So you know, tutorial. No, not guides or the actual fucking tutorial in the game. Unless it does that. 
What if it, it didn't have one? I know for a fact that it had one. All right. Because it even has you run through a few, uh, a few missions, well, one or two missions to show you how to play the game. Hmm. So, yeah, it it does look like the game just does ha just has a non-repeatable tutorial. That's weird. Okay, that, that makes me just that makes me take a big lean against this game because yeah. it would be nice to have a reminder of just how to play the freaking game again. Like, uh. Sure. Like like, sure, we could watch a video about it, sure, problem is... Yeah, that... It, only we will see the story part. Yeah, one second, I gotta look this up. Mm. Xenonaut. Xenonaut. I, I just googled Xenonaut's tutorial, and it just puts me towards beginner's guides, tips and tricks and such. Hmm... Yeah, I remember for a fact that it had a tutorial. The fact that it skip just doesn't let you repeat it, even when it has a bit of story in it. Just uh. moving on then to the fourth of the uh, and uh, the last of the showcase games. The other ones I... are for previewing. I recognize this one. <laughs> okay. I have seen some YouTubers. The one I remember most playing this. I think I've seen Falcon showcase this a bit, but also some others. But the one I seen play a bit more probably was, oh yeah, it definitely was uh, Wonderbot. Wonderbots, I mean. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, Batman. Uh, right, you said Batman, Batman or Batman? Batman. Okay, okay, I managed to get hmm. 13 working. Hooray! Okay. There, there. And apparently, other people have been complaining about a lack of tutorial. But okay, so either isn't... you're Mandel affecting your brain into believing there was a tutorial. No, or... I, I, I know for a fact that I played one. Or something's uh, even more off here than I thought. Yeah. Maybe they added one in at one point, but uh, I'll look into it more. But yeah, it, it's putting me against putting the game as a yes for streaming. I, I do want to eventually stream the uh, Firaxis XCOM games on low difficulty, because otherwise we'd be busy with that for hundreds of hours. Um, but yeah, we'll just have to look at that but for now. The last game, Yaga, which again I've only got I've only tested it up to here. So this is going to be entirely new for me as well. So let's start. We have story mode, a fairy tale as told by a kind grandma. Bad luck grows slower, enemies are weaker, Ivan is stronger in mind and body. Normal mode, a balanced folk tale as Baba Yaga likes it. Bad luck grows normally, enemies pose a fair challenge, death is just a setback. And then we have hardcore mode, more like a horror story told at night in a creepy forest. Bad luck grows faster, lose most components when a weapon breaks, death is permanent. I've only just now noticed that uh, Ivan is missing a hand. Well met, yeah. my dears. Well met indeed. What brings you here? Your counsel I need. Yaga the bony, Yaga the great. You want to manipulate the Tsar's fate. Upon his throne, I will bestow a fate of sorrow, bad luck, and woe. Okay. The rightful Tsar had failed my test. He was unkind, just like the rest. He said to me, leave, ugly hag when all I did was ask for bread. And as his guards drove me away, I laid my curse. And he heard me say, oh, I shall leave, but hear this from me. 
How you treat others, treated you'll be. The one who is cursed with dreadful luck will be around when your throne turns to muck. But if you kill him by your own command, all of your tsardom will turn into sand. <laughs> so ever since then, he searched every day to find the unlucky one and send him away. And now, he's found him. A man with no charm. Ivan the blacksmith, who's missing an arm. Yaga, our friend, we lend you our skill. Ivan, we shall use to fulfill your will. Blacksmith? You work in the village, and people say you are followed by bad luck. Broken swords, bent nails, splintered helmets, crumbled wheels. Everything you create shatters to dust, and you bring misfortune upon us all. Uh... For the Tsar, you were told specifically that the unlucky one would be here when... Uh, a bit unclear as to what exactly, but that basically everything would go to shit when you he would be near your freaking throne, so you bring him through your throne, you idiot! <laughs> oh uh. dear. One day, I was at home with my papa, and she said to me, Oh, Ivan, my needle's broke again. Would you make your <laughs> poor old grandma some new ones? Sure, Baba. I'll make you a couple so strong you'll be able to weave chains with them. I just need to find some enchanted iron. Be careful, Ivan. Do not worry. If there's misfortune in the world, I haven't met it yet. Oh, and if you're out there, see if you can find yourself a wife. Okay, <laughs> really, Granny? Just immediately going from, uh, could you find, could you make some some needles? Also, could you get fucking married already? Yeah, it, it's. <laughs> it's apparently, it's, I think I heard it's a stereotype that still exists in some countries. Little did I know what would follow. Oh, I'm sure you call it stereotype, more like. Uh, we still call it that stereotype, but it's actually a real thing. My way was blocked. I had to smash through using my hammer. Okay. Thanks. So. Go through some thorny spikes. I quickly rolled through them to avoid hurting myself. Uh, well, we can throw it now. Okay. Yet yeah, now you tell us how to dodge after I already figured it out. Yeah, I'll go grab my food. Wild but, yeah. animals were upon me. I got ready for the fight. I'm kind of glad that the type of elderly people are being less and less common, even though I do know they're still around and they will stay like at the grandkids and kids to get married. Ugh. Pork fats. Okay, body parts. Tired from the fight, I approached a clearing. Bad fate was waiting for me there. Ooh, ooh. What brings you here to Nico's place? I left my grandma at the door to go and find some magic ore. You seek magic? Are you stuck? How do you feel about your luck? Does this have... Okay, I'm... <laughs> what is that face? Bad luck doesn't exist. Okay. Bad luck? I think that's just in tales. Hard work and patience never fails. Uh, a non-believer then. I see. Looks like the fate is kind with me. Come now with me before you're thinner. You're just in time to be my dinner. <laughs> well, it's lunchtime. I have to eat now. It is late. And I will have you on my plate. And now you know bad luck is real. It is my name, <laughs> and you're my meal. Yep. Yep. 
Okay, yeah, we are not meant to win this, I'm pretty sure. I'm liking the game so far. I didn't really expect it to be like a, a Thule brawler like this. Or would it really be called a brawler? Fine. I, oh. I had grown tired from the fight. I swung my hammer with my might. And when I nearly hit her head, she laughed at me and it broke instead. So I just ran. I ran away. I had no time to stop and pray. And in my path fixed in a tree, a golden axe was there for me. But as I grabbed and said, what luck, I realized my hand was stuck. And then she raised her deadly knife and tried to rob me of my life. But as she swung with evil charm, I moved aside and she chopped my arm. She grabbed it and she said, how sweet. And so I got up on my feet. I started running, dripping blood. Well, not a drip, it was a flood. But right behind I heard a crash. And then I fell down with a splash. As I blacked out, I heard a shout. This one is mine now. You get out. Yeah, I like that they're constantly rhyming. <laughs> Next thing I know, I was awake. Back in the village with great ache. That is a sad tale indeed, but it just proves you have bad luck. For this, I should banish you, send you away, and forbid you to return. But I am not unkind. Instead, I will give you a chance to bring me something precious and clear your name. Now, come Go on, keep the rhyming going, away, dude. Wherever you may, and bring me back strength beyond measure. But return without it, and my guards will just drive you away. Yes, my Tsar. Your commands must be followed. I am on my way. Go now. Return only when you can give me strength beyond measure. Okay, I'm, I'm guessing that uh, those, <laughs> those chat options are going to have effects sooner or later. Okay, no, no, at least it's... I'm not, I'm not thinking this... I'm, yeah, I don't think the game is going for roguelike elements. So that's definitely a point for it already. I think because, it has some, well, <laughs> go ahead. I think it has some elements similar to that, but doesn't go all in on it. Yeah. Like, as you can see, extra light. My dear boy, I heard what happened. That wretched sir sending my boy away instead of finding a wife. What will you do, Ivan? Let's see. Though it seems impossible, I must do what must be done. Listen, my dear boy. I know of a tale, a story long lost. An apple that makes you strong as an ox. I think you could take that fruit to the Tsar. Yaga knows about it and she's never far. How can an apple give strength? Yes, Ivan. A golden apple. Picked when it is ripe, straight from the branch. Only one apple ripens every seven years. Maybe it is time now. Baba Yaga will know. Find her and she will tell you. The powerful witch, deep in the forest. Her house sits on a chicken leg. I'll tell you an old poem about her. At night in the forest, you should be afraid. Yaga is there, caressing her braid. In front of her house, there's a skull on a spike. No stories about her are ever alike. Sometimes she gives you advice and some magic. Sometimes you're pushed in the oven. How tragic. She will give you good advice if you find her. You, you just said... You just said that there's like a 50-50 chance. But yeah, from what I know, Baba Yaga is not entirely evil, but certainly not a good character either. Chaotic neutral, if that... Wish me well. Probably, yeah. I'm glad you are listening, but I hope you do not want to go empty-handed. She will need a gift when you need her. 
It is said the best gift for her is a wormy bone and a cloth with a poor man's sweat. Okay, these are rather specific. Where could I find a wormy bone? The graveyard, of course. But don't go digging there yourself. Talk to the undertaker. He must have some bones from old graves he cleaned up. Okay. Sweat of a poor man. Yes, that one is easy. Talk to the hay farmer behind the church. He's the poorest peasant in the village. Him and his brother. <coughs> okay. Go to the baba and ask for their help. Take some coax with you. It's not much, but it's what I can give. Now go, Ivan. Help them if they need. Then return to me before you go. I have more to tell you. I want to see you back and wed, not cold and dead. Before you leave, you should go to your anvil and make some weapons. You will need them in your journey. Oh, and while you are out there, see if you can find your. Come on. I, I think that's. I think that's going to be. I'm just a running joke that she constantly pushes us to go get married already. Yeah, I think it, it's supposed to be joke on that the... Uh, I'm still unsure about what they call it a stereotype. But I know it's uh, it, it, that type of uh, elderly person's... Uh, well, or what you would ever call it. It's not as common in some areas, but I have heard it's still a annoying issue in many other countries still. But I think I have met a few friends who have had that issue where their grandpa keeps telling them to get married. Yeah. Okay. Now, how much of a difference is it going to make if we make this out of bronze ore? Yes. I mean, it looks like... <clears throat> the game is very much telling us that it is very likely that our weapons are going to break sooner or later. Okay. But yeah, I, I'm okay with the game having more light, uh, roguelike elements and such. Yeah, but if it was just all randomized stuff, then I would be more against it. What beautiful lady sits in the dungeon, but her ponytail is outside. Rapunzel. A carrot! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, where do you get all these stupid riddles from? Okay, that sort of makes sense since, well, a carrot is mostly in the ground, but uh, the top sticks out. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think when I recorded some of you to sort of play this, they like the charm, the author, and the music. Yeah, the, uh, the music is definitely a bop so far. Uh, what's this here? A uh, well? Okay. Let's see. What kind of blessings would you like? Okay. So we can get blessings from the church. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to presume that we are... We're, we're, I'm going to guess that the game is going to be somewhat like Hades, and that we will eventually get our asses kicked and die and respawn here, but that we'll have uh, more resources available to us to make different weapons and such. Oh, not even that. It's even kinder than that. Uh, I think it's more the combat style is more like roguelite. Uh, and, uh... Okay. Interested in some talismans? <laughs> Do it. I was say, when you play it, you really feel like it's a roguelike. Just it has stripped away so much of the roguelike that it's. It, I guess you could say it's one of these that can make you think it's a roguelike. If that yeah, makes roguelike sense. is more mechanical. Yeah. How is your arm? Do you want some magic? Maybe a charm? <laughs> yeah, I would say roguelike or roguelite. Both are so easy to miss, say between each other. Yeah. Roguelike stuff is more mechanical and just randomization and such, and we'll have to see how things go. Oh, hello. Oh, 
And bird looks at you carefully. Uh, Do you have any tips, bird? Magic is raw. <laughs> Okay. Let's see then how this goes. Things don't look good for him. Where is Ivan going now? Okay. Hmm. All right. We needed to talk to the beggar behind. The okay. So it's it's yeah stopping us for the moment. On that and the heck, but oh, you're you're a bit of an ugly mutt. What? It's not ugly! <laughs> it's adorable! How dare you! Ivan, Where are your cat Have you seen my brother? He was to sell my hay. Two days. And no word. I do hope he's not drinking the money again. The fool. To who? Winter is almost here. And we need food. But why didn't you sell it yourself? A oh, brother always gets a better bargain. Good with words, he is. If I find him, will you give me that red cloth on your head? This? It keeps sweat out of my eyes. But I will give it to you. I'll look for him. But where should I start? Oh, thank you, Ivan. Uh, the market is near some farms. He can't be far. I'm guessing he's one of the drunks we were talking with earlier. Yeah, I should probably say this bit. We said that Baba Yaga is chaotic neutral. I will say this. Emphasis on chaotic. Yeah. Basically, she'll do... As long as it's able to amuse her, she'll either help or hinder you. Yeah, so co compared to, to chaotic good like in DD, is sort of incorrect as well since she takes the chaotic pot literally. Yeah, she, I say she switch she switches more between chaotic neutral and chaotic evil. So the heck are you? I, I can't live well nor die well in this village. Who are they? Do you think I would still be out here if I knew? Why does it say rest in peace on my grave if I'm not even allowed to do that? Why can't the dead simply stay dead? Okay, um, I was actually thinking that was the, the Undertaker. <laughs> but no, the Undertaker is over here. Good day, Ivan. I was just thinking about you. My spade is worse with every grave I dig. The blade has gotten blunt as a wooden spoon, and you can't really dig graves with a spoon, can you? Can you help me out, Blacksmith? Uh, let's see. Four, five kopecks. I'll give it some hammer blows. Perfect. Yep, just pull that out of his ass. Okay. And your coins for a job well done. The spade is much better now. It will still dig some graves. Now that you've helped me, is there anything I can help you with? I need a bone, rotten and filled with worms. Do you have something like that? Oh, I always end up with a few of these in my pockets. Here, take this one. It's too hard to crack, so you can have it. Thanks, Ivan. Okay. Could have gotten more money out of that if we'd not used our iron ore. But, yeah. Just... Uh, let's see. For that one, we need to find his brother. He was, well, scamping around somewhere. Probably just drinking it away. If your brother is going to just drink away the cash that you do make, it might just be better to get a well, less good deal, because then at least you'll still keep the money for foods and not booze. Yeah. Help me out. <laughs> what beautiful lady. But her pony a cat. That's the same. You were going to say? But what about the third one there? Yeah, we can't interact with him. Uh, let's oh, see. Yeah, oh, yeah, yes, we, we have a map. But the market nearby some far. Mm. Don't tell me that market is outside. 
It might be. Hmm. Let's see, there is another area over to the right. But I'm presuming that's going to be blocked off. Something. Yeah, I, I said, I'm probably okay for us to stream this. Do we should... Again, this is one of the things I feel we should investigate on how long it is. Yeah, and well, we haven't really, we haven't even gotten to more combat outside the tutorial yet. Hmm. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm guessing now that the, this one is lit up, that we can actually go somewhere. Hmm. This is the road back home. Uh, okay. Things don't look good for him. Where is Ivan going now? Oh, okay. We need. We can check somewhere to go. Mm. Uh, let's see. It's a Tuesday. He feels fortunate on Tuesday. Uh, Monday he goes rested. Ivan is a uh, faster. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm guessing these are the roguelike bits. Mm. It's they, they are basically weaving a story about uh, Ivan. And that is actively affecting him. The heat is unbearable. You bandits. I ran into that drill. Okay. Definitely liking the music here. So definitely, we only heard a bit about it, but ooh, it definitely feels like a lot of effort has been put into it. So rather not stick around yeah. that stick. Well, I'm not sure how well it's sold for. If I think around Wonderbot uh, streaming it, which they put out on YouTube, it was in uh, early access of demo or something. But I think they have mentioned it in a video, something about they tried a bit on Nisha to play it due to uh, something happened or something. Okay. You know, in real life. Hmm. That's above your head. Yeah. Okay. I think it was that or something else. Yeah. It might just be about the swamp with the other games, but I think I heard some players uh, were too easy, uneasy to play it due to mm. that. Greetings, young man. Can you help a troubled old shepherd? Tell me of your sorrows, and I'll see what I can do. I fear for my sheep flock. They've gone grazing this morning, and I haven't the sharp eyes and mind to bring them back. My fortune of having magic sheep is cursing me in old age. Will you please help? Yeah, sure. Tell me what I need to know. Each night, the sheep think of a riddle, and it gets written on their wool. In the morning, they vanish away to graze around. And if I'm to bring them back, I have to whisper the answer in their ears. Enough talk. Let's get your sheep back before nightfall. Oh, okay. So we get uh, the more we pick certain things, we, the more it becomes our personality. And if we deviate from that, we will increase our bad luck. Okay. Ooh. That's nice. <clears throat> and that's the timer. Yeah, let's let's see if check it. Have in common. They bark. bark? <laughs> I would say this one you should be able to get hill if you wouldn't be spread without getting thinner. Joy. <laughs> okay, I I am definitely liking the lean of this game. Um Okay, we can actually have some. We can actually have extra save slots, so we can have one where I'm just testing things out, and one for well, just playing it normal, just playing it for stream. On that, we'll probably 
actually I'll see how I'll do on normal difficulty. If I'm doing well enough with it, I'd say we can try streaming it on normal difficulty. Otherwise, we'll stream it on easy. All right. But yeah, that's all of the games showcased, which leaves the three previews that I've got prepared. So basically, these three are already a yes, unless like there's something really obviously wrong happens or it becomes obvious. Um, <clears throat> But this will be mostly just for, well, filling in the rest of the time. And uh, actually, we we have only time for one, I think. So... Also, did we make a series of the, the first Origami game? Yep. Uh, oh, I wait, don't think we Israel. uploaded those. Yeah, it was before the, uh, the uploading. Okay. Which means that when we get when we go to do the uh, Steam World games, we could put the Origami Emmy games in in there as well. Yeah, like I have seen the first game where I was there, and I was sure I was there at the very first episode to cool commentate. But yeah, I'll be up for it. And yeah, I, I, two, I, yeah. twenty-one. Yeah, this one came out shortly <laughs> after something. Yeah, no, not shortly, but still. Okay, there. Okay, I have heard that the, the reviews of this were a lot more mixed, but we'll have to see. Okay, we can redo Aragami 1 and have be recorded. <clears throat> And the Dark t Clan and the Light Clan. Okay, I think it was basically going a, a talking somewhat about karma there. Like, inflict evil and you shall suffer evil and all such. Hmm, taking a bit longer to load than I expected. Uh, there we go. Okay, let me remove the charging cable from my mouse because it is limiting my movement with it quite a bit. Okay. Double jump. Don't remember, don't think there was a double jump in the previous game. Oops, teleports. Okay, it said something else there, but I kind of missed what it said. Okay, C to drop. Okay. Okay, dash and sprint, shift to dash, hold the sprint after performing a dash. Okay, both use stamina. Okay, which is the lower bar. Okay. And yeah, very obviously, we would prefer to be in the shadows. There's some sort of barrier blocking our way. Okay. Stealth. Use the environment to remain hidden and avoid making noise when you're close to an enemy. Press C to crouch. By crouching, you become less visible and you move silently. Crouching in tall grass makes you unnoticeable. Rooftops and other tall structures provide secure vantage points. Remaining in the shadows affects your enemy's ability to spot you. Okay. And yeah, when we can't be noticed, we have the just the outlines. 
Okay. Let's see, a shrine of sorts over here. Anything we can see here? We can uh, we can lean against it. Okay. A golden fox. Let's see. Yep, here we want to go. Okay, and then across the bridge, I'm guessing. Yep. Okay, those two look like they have some pretty serious armor, so we don't want to mess with them. You're Again, afraid of a big hat? No. Well, it's very obvious that we're much more of a ninja type. Shadow vision. Uh, lets you see enemies and other interactable elements through obstacles and also shows the current mission objectives. V to use. Use to survey an area and pinpoint enemy patrols. Okay. Let's go here. Nothing interactable here, but we should be good to drop down here. Okay. And where is our... We reached the area, it says, but where specifically and such? I guess it's just over this way, then. Okay. Wait for him to turn around. Hello. Support items. Grant different instant effects that can make the difference between winning and or losing when used in the appropriate moment. To use support items, open the menu wheel by pressing control and select the item you want to use. When selected, uh, spelling, you <coughs> use it by pressing R. Use the vitality potion to restore your vitality and continue your journey. Okay. And we need to continue on. Assassination and knockout. Okay. Click a mouse to kill. E for knockout. Okay. We can still kill them afterwards. Or pluck them up and drop them somewhere. Let's do that quickly for a moment. Okay. We can even throw them if we want to throw a body over a ledge. I think one of the complaints I had in Aragami 1 was that you couldn't move bodies or such. Okay. Sometimes combat is inevitable, but you should consider a strategic retreat when the odds are not in your favor. Press tab to lock on. Switch to combat. You'll now have the chance to practice the basics of combat without taking any damage. Okay. Okay. Mouse to attack. It's three times to continue. Okay. Was there the much combat in the old game? Uh, a bit. But mostly we wanted to stay away from combat. Okay. Right mouse button to block. Receiving an attack while blocking will use your stamina instead of health. Running out of stamina will leave you vulnerable to opponent attacks. Okay. Okay. An attack. Oop. Press the right mouse button right before an enemy attacks land to trigger a parry, lowering your opponent's stamina. Parry three times. Okay. Okay. Decently generous window. Okay, shift the dash and evade attacks. Use it on moving. Okay. Oop, oh, uh, uh, Game? Uh, okay, at least it quickly... Okay. I hope that was just a one-time thing. Look, the recent it had mixed reviews. Yeah. Your opponent's vitality and stamina are displayed above their head. The character's stamina will decrease while performing a, a dash or block or receiving a parry. Yeah. 
When your opponent's stamina depletes, you'll be able to perform a critical attack, inflicting huge damage. Enemies with low vitality performing a critical attack will trigger a combat execution. Your practice over, you can take damage now. Defeat this enemy to proceed. Okay. Okay, we can choose to kill or knock out still then. All right. Hmm. But yeah, for a big glitch like that to happen, that does put one question mark on things. Yeah, like, we could not say it's a bad game due to one glitch, but... Yeah. If you see that kind of thing happen repeatedly, that is a concern. We need to kill them? Okay. Hmm. Then we need to move forwards. Aerial assassination and knockouts. So the camp be thrown from above when landing on an unaware enemy. Okay. All right. Hmm. Oop. I've got a bit of a feeling that some of this area is looking familiar, actually. Lean on wall, lean on walls or similar services to require a different stance that lets you peek around and activate special kill and knockout types. These, as well as those performed from within the grass, from a ledge, or from low cover, make less noise. Okay. Probably because there's a physical up object between you, between you and the targets. Yeah. One drawback to knocking out, of course, is that they can be, well, <laughs> awoken again. Big ass Big cannon. cannon? Nope, create your own path. Traverse the next area using everything you've learned so far. Also, welcome back, Rom. Welcome back. Yeah, I'm back. Okay. Okay, there's three targets nearby. Okay. Immediately into the grass. Okay. Then we move up. Wait for him to turn around. There. Okay. Shadow leaping does take stamina, and once it's depleted, it does take time to re yeah, to recharge. If not that. There we go. Let's put you away quickly before someone finds you. Yep. Or just chuck you into a wall. <laughs> okay. Two more. Let's just continue on our path for the map for the moment. This way, there's no need for confrontation if you know, there's no targets in our way.
Okay, I'm pretty good. Finally, someone who notices when their friend just vanishes. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that attacking a shrine, and especially shrine maidens, is a big ass no. Hello. Fucking shadow ninjas. I'm pretty sure we are supposed to be a shadow ninja. Fun. Read one. <laughs> okay. Hmm. It looks like someone is using, like, in the first game, there was only one origami, but it looks like someone has found a way to make more and is using them as soldiers. Okay, we just get kicked out of the Shadow Realm. We don't have any Yu-Gi-Oh cards, so we're not welcome there. I can't tell if this is actual Japanese or pro Japanese. It looks like this is the Shadow Realm. Smokes to the mass. The other guy has a knife. Imagine I think it might just be decorative. Katashi. You say that, and then all of a sudden, a puff of smoke comes out of the pipe. Then 
You know, I just realized there's a joke in. That's just that I'm. All, I've also got. Uh... Team Four Stars uh, Final Fantasy Machina Bridge. And I didn't. Well, okay, I already knew this joke, but one of the jokes they make is that Sid happens to be related to all of the other Sids from, like, the other Final Fantasy games because they're all, like, his great grandfathers. Okay. Even though some take place in entirely different universes? Yeah. Okay. Oh, dear. Also, and, I think yeah. it is actually Japanese. Yeah, I I don't know. It 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 could just be because it's so short that it has me a bit confused whether it is or isn't ac accurate Japanese and such. Uh, yeah, let's see. You've experienced the awakening. You have been freed from the shackles of your mind. Your soul has brought you here to be reborn, free. Kurotsuba. Okay. Kurotsuba clan, guardians of the valley and its peoples. The invader nation of A Akatsuchi is using their fire to lay waste to these lands. In their wake, they leave scorched woods, fields of ash, and the stench of burning bones. If we don't hurry, the peasants of the valley will be wiped out or enslaved. In the mountain, its resources, nature, and beauty will perish and be no more. We need to find a cure to our curse before we lose our humanity. So, in a way, we are like a Dark Souls... Uh, uh, but was again, the Hollows? Or Undeads? Something like that. Yeah, and maybe. I feel like there's we, some we, Yeah, we can't temporarily restore our uh, <clears throat> our humanity. And, and we get, well, fancy Shadow Ninja powers before we turn to a different type of being. We don't have much time. Mm, Talk to Iwao. You will see in him the horrors of our curse. Okay. Uh, uh, I, I just realized over here, uh, Rob, do not panic. There's a tiger on Captain's desk. <laughs> yeah, Oscar has joined us. Let's see, uh, there they are. The more I look at Oscar, the more I think of pushing boots. <laughs> Hello. Sumire. Uh. Ata. I think you're mistaking us. Apparently, nobody can find. Apparently, Boeing can't find the document. Remember the door that flew off on the plane when it was going up? Yeah, I actually recently saw the episode of uh, Last Week Tonight on that with... Uh, I, I'm blanking on his fucking name, but yeah, Boeing has been uh, in more and more trouble lately. Like, Ooh. which is cheap at Boeing, the uh, airplane company. Basically, they've, they've been pushing out cheaper and cheaper models and cutting corners, which has led to, well, Crashes with all people lost and just malfunctions everywhere. Yeah. Oh, cool. Basi they're basically became yeah, they're basically becoming the the Chinese knockoff of aviation. Oh, you, you expect that to not cut corners with airplanes? 
Yeah. yeah, but when you're when your company is led by idiots, uh. yeah. so you fancy yourself a ninja just like that? Right, you got lightning. Okay, I think this one may have lost it a bit. Show me your ninja techniques. Smoke technique, shuriken flowers, clothing technique. <laughs> okay. Not as bad as I thought. I, I, the way that uh, Katashi spoke about it was like if uh, someone loses their humanity as an origami, that they just will turn into some sort of shadow beast or something. But uh, I'm guessing that's the end product, more likely. And uh, you, you just came after us without even telling us. But yeah, definitely the longer you st are an origami, the more your sanity becomes fleeting. I'm going to guess. Yeah, apparently this does help to slow it down as you remember yourself. Yeah, not so much remember yourself, but more reinforce your personality through interacting with others. Which, well, is also very oh. good in real life. I see you've already met the WoW. And he's losing his mind. But part of his heart clings to this old dojo. Maybe there's still hope for him. You have a mission with your name on it. Hmm. <clears throat> Akatsuchi uh, troops have taken the fort on the river uh, in the uh, on the island in the river. Rumor has an old scroll has been found. It holds the old techniques of the shadow adapts. We need to recover it. You can accept missions from the board behind me. Retrieve the scroll and give it to Iwao. Okay. You can accept the you know, tasks from Mishmoor. As you progress on your warrior's path, you will discover new locations where you can complete missions and find hidden blueprints to improve your equipment. Missions are the essential... Uh, missions are the essential something in Kakumarega village. The mission board will also show the experience and gold rewards you will receive from completing them. Okay. Hmm. I did read that this game also has multiplayer co-op available. Classic mode inspired by the first game applies a series of changes to the base mobility of the hero to offer an alternative game experience. To learn more, start a mission in classic mode. You can apply this mode to any mission of the game using the R button when you see the mission info on the mission board. Okay. Okay, we can also select difficulties. Bravery of Lurker enemies has been redesigned, and their placement rate has been increased. Fanatic Soldiers. Okay, definitely looks like they've been upgrading, updating the game since it released, so maybe it's, maybe its reviews are better now. Hmm, yeah, online here. Okay. There's something going on over there, Rom. Hearing a lot of wood knocking or such. No, that's just me. On the okay. desk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll need to look into it a bit further, but I am still, I still, yeah, I still want to, uh, just stream it. Yeah, I want to stream it. But let's let's take a quick look on the Steam page, uh, store. Let me just move this away to, a, just in case anything pops up. Let's see, Aragami two. Let's see. Okay, the reviews have changed from negative, yeah, yeah, from to mostly positive. I think it was rated negatively at some point or another, but yeah, they've been working on it, and the reviews have been improving along with it. And yeah, online co-op, even cross-platform. Okay, that's good hmm. that they've been able to. Well. Mend repair. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Okay, I'm pretty sure I saw this review when I was looking through things before. Our gummy takes everything about the original, throws it off a cliff. UI is no longer integrated. So this new combat as a focus makes uh, for glitchy assassination from time to time. Okay. When was that posted? 9th of March. But it doesn't say if that were on what year that was. So it could be. This year could be long. Hmm. Actually, it does say it. 
the ones on the side, it should say, yeah, look. That it one says, says that... December 2020. Uh, there it is. It's... Left. Oh, there. Okay. He's free. He's free. Okay, he's not throwing these on the smaller ones here. Can I? Let's check the first. That's recent. It says. Yeah, it's, it's a recent yeah, post. I think, yeah, I think those are supposed to be okay. this year. Hmm. Okay. So, still a bit of a mix, but both both negative and positive. <laughs> um. Yeah, this one again doesn't um, save. I think I'm gonna leave. You guys yeah. have a good time. Okay, we're going to end soon anyways, because yeah, the, um, we still have only 10 minutes left on the typical two hours that we go for this. Uh, but yeah, thank you for being here, and have a good day, Rom. You guys too. Later. Be safe, Rom, and thank you for joining. Okay. Now, these four, I would definitely put 13 in, uh, let's just say yes for now, but I will look into with I will look into things to make it more well functional because when I again it doesn't want to work with borderless gaming so I had to use game capture but also when I started up actually I might as well show that uh, first off it start it's off in full it screen says mode Ubisoft. so yeah it says also that Ubisoft yeah. had made this game there yeah. But also, it just puts the game into the corner here, so that would be a nuisance. And yeah, when I tried to use when I tried to use borderless gaming, it would not function correctly with it. It would just cause stutterings and such. But yeah, uh, I'm not against moving it every time. If would <clears throat> it would be annoying, but it wouldn't be like utterly breaking. So yeah, I'm still leaning on a yes if nothing else uh, annoying pops up or such. Yeah. And yeah, X3 Reunion, I'm putting that one in no. Again, not a bad game from all I've heard, but I don't want to spend most of a stream going from A to B just to get stuff done. Yeah, it is like, like I can see someone st uh, do a YouTube series on it. Due to they will probably be able to cut out the travel time. Yeah, but and even for that, I don't think I have to... <laughs> Yeah, I, I think even for that, I might not have the, the patience for it. Yeah, like, it will... It, it, it's, a, it's, also, it's a format in a way that would work for us, sadly enough. Yeah. Xenonauts, I was originally thinking of putting it as a yes, but... Again, just the fact that the tutorial is completely missing somehow just irks me. And yeah, it is a lot more in the style of the older XCOMs, which means that there's likely going to be a lot of time spent just uh, trying to well, survive instead of just well, moving forwards with the, and things. This, we'll have to do that a lot with the XCOM games as well, but there it's more streamlined, I believe. Hmm. And Yaga, I'm wanting to put that as a yes as well. But though I will look again, I will look into things to make sure that there aren't any massive hurdles that need to be overcome or something. Yeah, or it's unexpectedly extremely long. Yeah. And yeah, Aragami too. Just, uh, I do get a, I do, uh, I do put a bit of a question mark next to it, but it does look like it is. Maybe not actively getting worked on still, but it's probably been put into a more into a better yeah, state than it was at launch. Yeah, mm. I did say mostly positive. This is a improvement. Yeah, and yeah, Rayman Redemption. This is basically just Rayman One, but in a, a fan made version that doesn't make you want to tear your hair out just from how freaking difficult the game is. I will still show it just for a bit here. Uh, okay. <laughs> Not a, no clue why it was over to the left or to the right for some. Uh, yeah, fan game, no affiliation with Ubisoft whatsoever. Uh, yeah, basically it is just Rayman 1, but well, with... Uh, let's just go with... Uh, with a, a casual mode where you won't get game overs and just get kicked to the absolute start of the game when you run out of lives.
Oh dear. Yeah, and they even put in a hard mode as well. As if the as if classic of this wasn't ball busting enough. But yeah. Since we have streamed basically all of the rest of the Rayman series, or at least the platformer ones, uh, I'm not touching the Raven Rabbids games because those are mostly party games. Maybe at some point I'll do the more recent ones that are sort of like XCOM, but we'll have to see. But for now at least this one will go on the list, event will be streamed eventually. Okay, I can't actually back out from that it seems. Okay. But, yeah, if it weren't for this game, we would never would have had Rayman 2 or any of the other games. Yeah, you know what? I played this one as a kid. And oh, yeah. It was hard. And last but not least, Warcraft 3 Reign of Chaos. A game that's, well, Blizzard and fucking selves are basically trying to kill off because... I I thought at first that the Reforced was just an entirely new game, but no, it's technically an update to this one, which means that on the Battle.net launcher and such, you can't play this version anymore. So basically the only way to play this is to play a version that is of grey morality or grey legality. Simply put, with all the disrespect that Blizzard has put towards this game and towards these fans, I would say it is more moral to just yeah, just pirate this game and tell them to fuck off. Because yeah, basically, they're basically what I think I how I would describe the reforced version is that it's just pissing over the work of the previous developers. Yeah, if I'm right, I heard that the developers who worked on Reforged tried to make the good as possible. But the high ups kept getting involved and delayed them, they disrupt them so many times that they they know the reason broken because they were not left alone to fix the problems. Yeah, like, I would say uh, basically. Uh, 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 go ahead. Uh, uh, let me give you an Let's say you've been tasked to paint a wall within two hours. Yeah. Imagine that. But you, but you only get between like one fifth of the world because someone keeps interrupting you to ask something, do something. You tell you to do, use a different technique or and such to start from the other side when you've already worked on one side, and then telling you yeah. to work on the other side again. Yeah, they just, they just, just different people keeps keep interrupting you, and one of those two hours up, you're done one fifth. Yeah, and then they it's, complain it's, at you for not completing it, even though they've been wasting your time constantly. And uh, yeah, basically, Blizzard as is is just a. It's basically just a carcass. It has the yeah, name, not... but it has nothing left of the skill or the passion, dedication for the craft anymore. Yeah, that is. There's more to it. It didn't, didn't only happen to Warhammer. No, not not Warhammer. Warcraft Reforge. Yeah, it Overwatch to as well. Overwatch 2 as well. Yeah. And they actually tried to keep them away to, so they could work on it, but he he and he then ended up going just I had enough. They just won't leave us alone. They just keep trying to add what does it add these feature no one wants. I had had enough for he had apparently tried done many months, if not over a year, trying to keep uh, some of the bad ideas out, but yeah, he ended yeah. up just walking out. But he actually tried to defend his team from the higher ups. Yeah, but basically, I I think I've said this before elsewhere, but basically, I see Overwatch 2 as practically a scam. It's maybe free to play and such, but yeah, it, it's just worse than the original, yeah. which they just killed off, like they've tried to do with this game. Yeah, do and Overwatch, both of these games are extreme for Again, as I told you, this they did for Overwatch to try to defend it, to try to keep it from being that. So I'm gonna guess the devs who Overwatch one and two of themselves not happy about it. Yeah, actually, one way I could put it with Blizzard now is that uh, similar with Boeing. The Blizzard of today is just a Chinese knockoff of the Blizzard of old. 
More of American yeah. uh, knockoff in this case. But, yeah, just a poor I imitation think, of the original. This is... It had potential to be good, but they messed it up. Yeah. But also kind of why I've been skeptical Management about messed it up. stream the original. For I feel like... It, you, you see, we just, we just did now. I fear... This is one of the many things I fear. Is that we're going to get nostalgic in a bad way. We're going to... We're gonna be angry through the entire streams about it. Like we go, oh, this we love this a lot. This they just go, but damned, you know, is it here where I try to make yeah. the show there. It, I'm sure it would be enjoyable for us to stream it due to in what mental state we will be in. Yeah, for good point there. But I think the game will keep us busy enough just playing it. Yeah, because I, if I remember correctly, it does move at a pretty, a pretty decent pace. That it doesn't have us waiting like 15 minutes just to get stuff done and such. But yeah, I yeah. think we should be able to avoid that. Just a negativity yeah. spiral. So my other concern is, uh, since it is such a popular game, is I just pray there's nothing shady with the one you got. Yeah, it, I've run it through the uh, yeah, I've run it through the virus scanners and such, so you know, nothing to fear for that. Uh, also, just as a uh, an, a bit extra for anyone who is interested in playing the original Warcraft Three, uh, all I'll say on that is uh, find version one point twenty seven B, and from there I think you can figure it out on your own with just a bit of Google foo. <clears throat> but yeah, anything past that gets fucked over by uh, <clears throat> Reforged. Okay, uh, but uh, with that done then, uh, that'll be the stream for today. So let's go look for someone to raid. Let yeah, me we, see. Did we probably stream later today again? 50-50, uh, I'll say. Uh, mostly if I feel up for it. No Jedi Knight or Partisans, I'd say. Uh, we're mostly, we're done with Slam Rancher 2 until there's another big update, I'd say. Like, we could play it, but we'd mostly just be hunting around for those uh, pods and such. Yeah, I feel like it'd be better to save those to the next big update. Hmm. I should check on uh, Dave the Diver. Uh, I heard that they had that uh, Godzilla uh, <clears throat> DLC upcoming. But if we do stream something, maybe I can rope. Yeah, I think Liz has work today, but maybe we can have... get uh, cross codes going. I think they work on Sundays, yeah. Okay. But so, yeah. I also will be up for up cross code. We still have hard space. Yep. Or um, I think, maybe uh, Minecraft. Some wonder, are, we, are we trying to avoid that game for some reason? No, not really, but... Uh, it's not really that I want to avoid it or such, it's just that uh, maybe I'm just getting a little bit tired of it as well and just want to do some other stuff. But yeah, we've done Slime Ranch a few times, so maybe, yeah, maybe Hearts, you know, yeah, almost mess it up, maybe Shipbreaker. We'll yeah, see. Maybe Shipbreaker. Do, I do not blame you for... I do feel, feel some things relax about it. The story is... It, the story is just not bad. It just you gets under your get skin. A, yeah, it does only get your skin in. I guess in a story says it does does that rather well. For you would definitely be pissed off if someone treated you like that as they do there. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, fifty fifty chance on us doing an evening stream. We'll have to see if nothing gets in the way. If I'm not too busy with trying to get other stuff to work. Or if I just do not feel up for it, uh, we'll just have to see. Yeah, mm. and as I said, if we do soon this thing out for hard space, or oh, maybe something else we've been planning. Yeah. Okay, but for now then, let's go back to looking for someone to raid. We have Redacted Cat, who is playing Tomb Raider. Dr. Misunderstood with Borderlands 2, but we raided them last time, I believe. Or, no, not last time, but previously, in this week at least. We have Zeno Voya, who is playing Infinite Crafts. Let's see, muted. Can't say I recognize that. So let's take a peek. Uh, we have Hisaya Rozier with Ranch Simulator. 
Oh, Jackson Sen is playing L.A. Noir. Rillian is online with Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. He streams rather rarely. WBPL is playing Pacific Drive. I am somewhat interested in that game. Uh, from what I've seen and heard, it is sort of like an open-world style horror game. Like, sort of SCP-like, that you go to investigate stuff. I don't know too much about it, which is probably for the best. Okay, but I wonder if it's some game. Look, uh, I might get that at some point. Yeah, there might be zombies of some sort, but we'll have to see. Then we have Karenai with Unicorn Overlords, Kanai with Helldivers 2, and last but not least, we have Horatius the Dwarf, who is set as just chatting at the moment, but the title says Casual Dark Souls 3 Practice. Practice being between quotation marks. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, okay. Any of those you would suggest to raid, or shall I take a pick? Uh, let you take a pick, since I cannot see at the moment. Alright, um, I'm leaning between Jackson Sam with L.A. Noir. Uh, not sure what Sino Voya is up to, because I'm mostly just seeing them. Uh, maybe it, is this some sort of uh, audience interaction game or such? Um... Now let's go say hi to Jackson. All right. So copy name. Then we head to our place. Okay. Slash raid and paste. But before we start that, of course, thank you everyone who's watching now or later. Did we have any lurkers or do we have any lurkers? Uh, we have Sensei lurking again. <laughs> and of course, there could be people watching without accounts. But yeah, Twitch and such do not tell about that. But oh well. And yeah, thank you again to Rom. And thank you as always to Kier. You're welcome as always, my friend. And thank you all for watching here on YouTube or Twitch. Oh, wait, here on Twitch or on YouTube, I mean. <laughs> okay, and yeah, like I said, 50-50 chance uh, of another stream today. And uh, let's see, tomorrow, maybe mon uh, mil uh, maybe multiplayer with the rest of the gang. So it could be Crosscode, could be Borderlands, maybe an SSA finally again. And yeah, then on Tuesday and Thursday, we'll be continuing with Jedi Knights 2, Jedi Outcast. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> That's for now. Let's get that raid started. Come on, there. Okay. And yeah, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. And watch out for undead seagulls. <laughs> and... I actually have nothing this time, so just goodbye. <laughs>